everybody. I'm so excited that you are here on this special holiday. Today is National Button Day and it brought back a lot of good memories for me. And I went and I found my grandmother's tin that I kept all these years with me. And inside there are whoops, lots of buttons all different kinds that you can see. There are, let me show you, we have big blue ones. I have a yellow one. I have, oh, let's see, a fancy metal one. Whoop. <laughs> um, oh, and there's a key in here too. Oh, wonder what that was to. And all kinds of like a, a plastic wooden looking one and Oh, a beautiful white one with, oh, they're, they're just beautiful. And I remember when I was younger, going through all these buttons and finding um, different gold ones and pearl ones and flower ones and glass ones and all different kinds. So it brought back a lot of fun memories for me. For me. And I went to my local library. Well, I hope that it brings back fun memories for you. And if you don't, have a tin full of buttons ask your family about it because i'm pretty sure it was like almost a given that every household used to have one years ago and well nowadays maybe not so much but those were good memories for me but i went to the local library and i picked up this book pete the cat and his groovy no his four groovy buttons my bad i am so sorry about that pete and I wanted to share that with you. Now, I did not write this story. This story was written by um, Eric Litwin, and the art was by James Dean, who's the creator of Pete the Cat. And in this particular book, it comes with a song, so I do know that song, and I hope that you're gonna sing along. And if you haven't heard the song, once you hear it, you probably won't be able to unhear it. So sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but um, if you want, please go to your local uh, bookstore as well. Purchase this book and support the author and the illustrator. I'm sure that they would love that. Well, anyway, let's get star started to hear our Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. Oh, look at that one already popping off. See, look at all these beautiful buttons. All right, guys, here we go. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. But first, let's count how many, right? You see them with me? One, two, three, four. And here we go. My buttons. My buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. <gasps> Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Hmm, three. So four, take away one, equals one, two, three. We got it. One, two, three. Did Pete cry? Oh goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. He kept singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One, two. Oh no, there are two. Three minus one equals two. There it is. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and well, buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh, Pete, I love that he didn't cry about it because, yeah, sometimes they come and sometimes they go, just like a lot of things in life, right? <gasps> Pop! Oh, no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Well, if we had two and one popped, 
and rolled away. How many do you think you have left? Yeah, one. There it is, that big red one left. And some ice cream. Mm. We did it, guys. Two minus one is one. Did Pete cry? What do we say? Goodness, no. Buttons come and, well, buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. Now how many buttons are left? Well, if there was only one and it rolled away, we are left with Zero. One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? What do you think? I have never read this story before, so I don't even know what's behind this page. Should I be scared? Am I going to laugh? Probably. It's Pete the cat. And what's a cat wearing a shirt? So it's okay. Ah, his belly button! Can I tell you I didn't expect that? Nice. I like that. And he kept on singing his song. Everybody, come on, sing it with me. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. There it is. <laughs> And he said, it's all good. That's because he was grooving. <laughs> I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. That's true. But do we cry? Well, sometimes, Pete, sometimes when we lose things, it is a little sad. And we say, that's okay, right? Just don't get stuck there. But remember Pete, because Pete says, Goodness, no. We keep on singing. Well, Pete, that's one way to look at it. Sometimes our songs might get a little sad because we did miss something that went away, right? But we're going to find a new song to sing and get through it. And this was just kind of a fun way to, to say that sometimes in life things come and things go. It's just the season. It's just a time and things like that happen, right? But in this story, it was all about buttons. And buttons come and buttons go. And when they would go and my grandmother would find them, she would put them in this tin and keep them because she'd always say, you never know when you're going to need another button. And I think it was a pretty cool connection for me to make and to realize that, yep, some things we don't need to get too upset with, some people say, right? But it's okay. Thanks, Pete. I love that you helped us walk through that and remember that sometimes that's just the way it is. But for Pete, he found a song that he could sing. And if you want to find that song, it says right here for free song, go to harpercollinschildrens.com, Pete the Cat. You can check it out and see how close I was to that actual song because now I'm pretty sure you're going to put that on your playlist. <laughs> All right, have fun and thanks for joining me. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.